Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tilak, consultant physician. I would congratulate Mirror Health for 8th Foundation Day celebrations and I would like to thank Dr. Revti Ma'am for this opportunity to talk on diabetes and pregnancy. So those women who are already diabetic planning for pregnancy should have an excellent glycemic control because diabetes can be one of the reasons for infertility as well as various complications like miscarriages and various anomalies to the babies and even a man who is a diabetic should also be encouraged for an excellent glycemic control since it helps in improving his sperm quality and also increases the success of pregnancy. So once a woman who is already pregnant, so if at all, if at all she's been diagnosed with gestational diabetes that is usually in 24 weeks of pregnancy so she should be encouraged for an healthy diet as well as an exercise at least 30 to 45 minutes a day five out of seven days and also she should be encouraged to take insulin since that's the only approved treatment for gestational diabetes so most of the a woman uh, come to me with hesitation to take insulin but I would suggest them to take insulin regularly and monitor their sugars at home for an excellent glycemic control in order to prevent the complications that occurs in pregnancy. So once the pregnancy is being terminated I would also encourage them for regular uh, sugar levels monitoring because most of the women post pregnancy are known to develop and develop diabetes in future. So I would encourage all the pregnant women to have an adequate healthy diet, exercise, regular glucose monitoring, adequate insulin therapy and also take an adequate follow up from healthcare professionals like us and increase the success of pregnancy. Thank you. So what I want to ask you is See, pregnancy journey, Bhagishri is a proud mom of three babies, okay? So she has one son and again two twins, both are sons again, and all were delivered by me. And Bhagishri, Nimgo Ashte, two challenges to pregnancy in Adrali, one of the challenges was gestational diabetes, and the diabetes during pregnancy. Yerdu pregnancy in Ali, Nanimke monitoring Madbo, the Madbeka Gitu, especially twins Ali, the Ginus of a complicate Agitu, Yakadra, you are slightly older. Plus, uh, twins are problems are multiplied. So, in um, situation, you have a deal with that. It was second pregnancy much uh, better. I'm not saying it was easier, but at least you have to sensitize that you have monitoring. Was it much more uh, easier because you have to do the techniques, you have to do the monitoring, and what was the support that you got from your family? from your older son during your second pregnancy. This is how deal you deal with this deal. Let's video so that people see you. Yeah, mainly, mainly, if you want to tell someone, this is a brinda. You can tell the link will expire, Agathe Bhagishri. Now, please log in again. You can tell me, you can tell me, once it is disconnected, you may have to log in again. Huh? Okay. Ah, sure, okay. ma'am. You can tell me, you can tell me. So, Yenagatendra, Auru, Prabakar, sir, or Yaro held and Hedu, and the team, their husband and wife both together, our Ibruno Kelsa Madre Matra, we will get a very good result on Sute. Kendra Idu Ibrugu equally important, equally Bekagironta, and the situation no Mogu no the last concept. So, normally, new held and a first time on a complicated again, and gain no Namda the weakness, any the gestational diabetes, thyroid, hypothyroidism, Midella, Ididrinda. So second time we prepared very well. <laughs> so I second time I now when the tera when the book it computed we mane nali. So when the chart tera marakon le dro na mane bro. So our protein itya na na BP na sugar na. All no each six times sugar or blood pressure na vaga vaga check maadi 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 when the dodi chart maadi te dro. So na model ne maga kuda he was well prepared and so the. He was also supporting me a lot actually. A chart preparation ella maado drali. So our Ibruno idhi dikhe. Then ke all tumba channa ke aito. So now we end my journey in the event journey only because the ups and downs is there. So the finally the big picture is the healthy baby. 
ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಬಿಗ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಆ ದಿಕ್ಕಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲ್ಸ ಮಾಡಿ ನನ್ನ ಶುಗರ್ ನ ನೀವೇ ಹೇಳ್ದಂಗೆ ಬರೀ ಡಯಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ದೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಶ್ರೀ ನೀವೇನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಜಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಟ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ತಿರ್ಗಾ ನನಗೆ ಜಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಟರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಶಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಇವಾಗ ಈ ತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ರಮಣಮ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ರಮಣಮ್ಮ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ರಾಜ್ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಶ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ and i think we need to call rashmi also rashmi uh, is rashmi there yeah rashmi is there okay yeah. so ramanamma neevu helta idri that uh, second time alli nimge already you were prepared twins ittu ella complications solpa double agutte but adru uh, challenges jaasti idru nu ni mentally prepared agidrinda nimge adu ashton kashta anislilla but prati dina neevu sugars monitor madbeku adra prakara incidence strike rate madkobeku you know monitoring ag barbeku growth check maadkobeku fluid hengide muku sutlu anta nodkobeku structural defects ge dodd dodd scan maadaskobeku ivella surveillance protocols ittala avaga nimge en anustu idella thumba kashta aagta ide and my life is becoming very difficult anusta or how did you take it and at the end of it ivaga you have three kids so ivaga nimge anusutha it was all worth it anta bhagyashri ಯಾ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಅವಾಗ ಅನ್ಸೋದ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಓದೋವಾಗ ಇವಾಗ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಎನಿ ಕಾಮ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಹೋದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ಗು ಅನ್ಸೇ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಓದೋದೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಗ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಓದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋತರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದಾಗ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದೇನು ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವೇನು ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಟೀಮ್ ತರ ನಮ್ಮ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಮಗನು ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಒಂದು ಒಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಾಯ್ತು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಅನ್ನೋಕೆ ನಾವು ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಒಂಥರ ಟ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಆದಾಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂಥರ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಟಾರ್ಚರ್ ಆಗತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಊಂಬ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಜಾಗ ಇದೆಯೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ನನಗ್ ನಂದೇ ಆದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ತೊಂದ್ರೆ ಆಗಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನನಗ್ ಬೇಜಾರ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಇಲ್ಲ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಆ ತರ ಬೇರೆ ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಾವು ಅದರ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಟೈಮ್ಲಿ ಆಗಿ ತಗೋತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಡಯಟ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಲನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ಗೆ ಯೋಗ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಶನ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ಅದು ನನ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯೂಶಲಿ ನಾನು ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗೂ ಈವನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ ತರ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಆ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಮಿಲನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಅದು ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಇತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಜ್ಞಾಪಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯಾವ್ದ್ಯಾವ್ದು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಮಾಡಿ ನಾನು ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಫಿಟ್ ಆಗಿ ನನ್ನ ಒಂದು ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ನನ್ನ ಮಗು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಟ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಅವರಿಬ್ರು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಸೊ ಹೇಗೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಾವು ಮುಂದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ನಾವು ಹೇಗೆ ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗ
her photograph a little late, but uh, nevertheless, she's a very important uh, source of, uh, I think she is another patient educator. You get another label now. You are all patient educators. So you have moved ahead in your journey and you are educating so many mothers that you know, e complications na hang deal marbodo nim real stories in that you are actually telling them the scientific facts, which is I feel the most important thing. Ivaga yella scientific conferences alone, we have a patient's voice. Because now we ain't candidate, unless the patient is able to take it and put it into their treatment protocol and follow it. Namdadraleno benefits. So I want the patient voices to get stronger. So we have a very strong patient voice in Rashmi Vinay. So, Rashmi, uh, welcome to the show and thank you so much for joining in. And you've been so much uh, for us because Ella Thara patient educator program, Salo, you've been very, very supportive. And she's, in fact, shared her uh, beautiful pregnancy, I mean, the difficult challenges of her pregnancy journey in a very beautiful way for our newsletter, Vismaya, which we're going to probably release very shortly. So, uh, Rashmi, I'm going to ask you slightly a different question. Mm -hmm. Ivaga, yeah. if pregnancy nali, we monitored your sugars. There was, you know, we, you had to take insulin and then you came out of it. And do you think that monitoring mm -hmm. your medical issues, especially the sugars or anything, even thyroid or whatever, after mm -hmm. delivery is also important or it's it's just all over at the level of pregnancy? What do you feel? Um, uh, hello, ma'am. Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope you are able to hear me. Yes, please introduce yourself, Rashmi, and yes. let me, uh -huh. uh, please tell them, uh, you know, is it a continuum? Is it important uh -huh. to monitor your metabolic problems, mainly yes. sugars in our country, post-delivery, okay. and how did you yes. deal with it? And how are you actually taking care of you or yourself post-delivery, no. you know? Uh, because you were yes. also complicated with gestational exactly. diabetes. You took the insulin, you looked after the yes. blood sugars, your yes. babies, you delivered twins. So after yes. that journey, what did you do after delivery? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, doctor. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Rashmi. And uh, as ma'am already has explained uh, to everyone, yeah, I've been blessed with twins. Uh, it was my third. What IPS do you do, Rashmi? What do you do, Rashmi? Okay. I work as a software engineer at uh, Hewlett Packard. And okay. uh, yeah, and it was not an easy. Tell us briefly to... about uh, your family, because we should know about your children, about your husband. So that is also very important. Uh -huh. Sure, ma'am. Yes, uh, my husband is also a software engineer. He work, He's working at uh, Quest Global. Uh, my twin girls, Adira and Atira, they're right now in grade two. They're uh, eight years old now. And uh, coming down to my pregnancy level, maybe two liners, uh, it was not an easy piece of cake for us. Uh, it was almost like uh, after 12 years of hard struggle, uh, we were blessed indeed. And uh, both the two cycles, it was a failure for us, one which we tried in India and the one which we tried in uh, Costa Rica. And uh, the third time we were almost, uh, we were we thought that, okay, we just have to give it up and then we'll have to uh, adopt. But finally, I think luckily we met uh, Dr. Revati. That is what we would, uh, I would uh, state it. So she was like a messenger of God to me indeed. And uh, finally we, th we, uh, we tried the third one and it was a huge success. And uh, one point was, you know, uh, the, she took care of many of the parameters in my case because of age factors and many other complications that I had. And uh, one important thing was uh, she gave me injections for the placental development, which was like, you know, four months approximately. Every day I had to take those injections and it was like, oh my goodness, already 40 into 3, 120 injections. And after that, when I was stated, uh, you have got even the gestational diabetes uh, scenario, I was like, oh God, how many injections do I really take upon? Uh, I think maybe because of stress factors, I have even developed these. Because of like two failures, I was like, you know, um, the stress levels were indeed were uh, huge indeed. And as well as even from um, uh, uh, from a personal friend as well, my husband was on the verge of, you know, losing his job. So all of the external factors also, you know, like it all came in at the same time. And finally, along with these injections, should I have to take on these injections as well. Oh, come on. And if now only I've been taking these, um, uh, you know, insulin injections, how about me um, after uh, delivery, should I have to continue all of those things? So those were some of the questions which were really haunting me but however i would uh, i should be very grateful to ma'am you know she said no no it's only for this uh, gestation period um which is quite common right now because of the various lifestyle and the uh, other physical conditions this is what that you would undergo but however with the um, 
monitoring with the regular monitoring and whatever the protocol that I do state. And if you follow that, it'll all be fine. So we just you know, trusted ma'am and then we just followed whatever that she stated. And uh, coming down to ma'am's question, of course, yes. Um, uh, people think that, okay, huh, uh, as soon as a pregnancy, post-pregnancy are these, whatever the problems, the, the gestational related problems are all gone. Agreed, totally agreed, fine. But however, it is not that, okay, immediately after the delivery, you should just you know give up everything. Okay, you stop monitoring your levels, uh, sugar levels or, you know, uh, uh, even the PP levels. So don't stop immediately. I would state that, you know, take some more time for approximately for another six to eight months. So once even your body has has to take some time to rejuvenate back to back to our normalcy, because we'll be feeding our, um, you know, uh, breastfeeding our babies as well, right? So I think uh, it would be good to continue that protocol, monitor those things, you know, be in touch with ma'am, get those things, you know, um, give some time for the body also to regulate those levels. So approximately for six to eight months or at the max one year. And after that, you are on your own. Agreed. So so after that, I know it's normal as usual as any other you know, normal person would be. So we will be up to that particular stage. And uh, um, post that, Maintaining the levels is in our hands. Uh, so based on the stress levels or the food habit or the lifestyle that we try to maintain. So this is what that I would uh, like to state, uh, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, Rashmi. So what she's trying to tell is, if delivery, your body just doesn't become uh, your non-pregnant uh, kind of a situation. So the next six weeks is crucial because your pregnancy-related changes are still you know, continuing to persist. And, uh, you know, as women, we are lucky because pregnancy gives us that kind of uh, information which we would have never had it. And there are all stress factors. Later in life, you might develop diabetes. You might develop, uh, you know, a cardiac problem or you might develop a hypertension or something. Most importantly, diabetes and hypertension is kind of obvious during pregnancy because pregnancy is a stress to the mother. And in stressful situation, if you develop these kinds of problems, it kind of tells you that you should be aware and maybe check your blood sugars once in six months or once in a year so that you don't end up in having a problem suddenly which cannot be properly dealt. In fact, you know, if uh, if you look at this monitoring that happens every year after 50, but I would say that if a mother is like kind of diabetic or hypertensive, she would start her monitoring every year, maybe much earlier so that, you know, these complications can be picked up and her overall cardiovascular health, her cardiovascular health and the health of the heart, the health of the blood vessels are much better in these women because they are careful. So after delivery also, the six-week test will tell us how frequently you should be monitoring your other parameters. It may be normal at that time, but you may have to monitor it. And some people, please believe uh, this, that you know, they may not be gestational. They may be actually diabetic, but picked up during pregnancy. So they will continue to have this problem even after delivery. So pregnancy was kind of a blessing in disguise because this problem was picked up and they continue to be monitored, continue to be on medications. They may not require insulins, but they re may require oral hypoglycemic agents post-delivery initially to suit the requirement of breastfeeding. And later, they may have to just continue medication so that they don't develop other, because diabetes can breed other problems like cardiac problems, your blood vessels problems. It can lead to oxidative stress, which may lead to other complications, cerebrovascular complications. There's so many other complications that can actually breed because of untreated diabetes, the kidney problems and those kinds of things. So thank you so much, Rashmi, for being there. And now, let me quickly ask each one of you, like we have a snippet from our naturopath as well as from our physician, but unfortunately, there's a problem with sharing. So what we will do is, you'll be able to share now? Yeah, please share. So basically, uh, this is from uh, a naturopath, uh, Mr. Harshit Mishra, Dr. Harshit Mishra who's a wellness physician and he's done a lot of work on yoga and uh, you know a lot of naturopathic uh, techniques and he's also collaborating with Mirror. So he would want to share some of his inputs about how to reduce the stress levels which would probably contribute to because see monitoring diabetes is a very comprehensive thing. It is not just about monitoring and treating with blood sugars. It's a lot about stress control. And this is something that we uh, as Indians have a proud past uh, with a lot of yoga and dietary uh, things that have actually been indicated in naturopathy. 
Are you able to share it? Share, please. No, I'm mean, I'm not able to see it. Can you play it? Please play the video. Yeah, but you play it. No, we are not able to see it. We are only be able to see the screen. So what I would do is there's some problem and, uh, you know, we can't get it on my laptop right now. So what I will do is I will share these snippets to you individually. So I feel you people should see it. And anyway, this is going to be edited. So we are going to put Harshit Mishra as well as Dr. Tilak's uh, content as well and share it across to our patient and other acquaintances so that they get the benefit. We also have a physician who is a special invitee. Rajagopal, stop sharing, please. Yes. So we would get a physician also who would probably give us uh, his inputs about insulin and management of diabetes, which, uh, you know, would go across to everybody uh, so that, you know, they get a comprehensive view about how to manage diabetes. Now, before we close this special meeting, which is a dedicated meeting because Mirror has turned eight, I would want a one liner from each of you all to tell the mothers, you know, about your special message as what is that one thing that you would do with respect to diabetes and pregnancy, which would keep them safe for their entire pregnancy journey. All right. So I would start with Aishwarya. What is that one thing that you would do or you would advise your mother? I mean, your other mothers to do to keep themselves safe if they are burdened with gestational diabetes. You can say one sentence, Aishwarya. Yeah. Follow what the doctor asks you to do strictly. Okay, so she feels that compliance, you're bringing out a very important factor. Compliance and trust is something that she says you have to believe the scientific evidence and be compliant with the treatment protocols. Thank you so much, Aishwarya. That's a very important point. And next, I would call Madhumita. You would tell us one thing to the mothers, which they should remember if somebody makes you know, a doctor makes a diagnosis of gestation diabetes. Sure. So it is not, uh, to all the, you know, pregnant mothers, it is not scary. Diabetic is not scary. Don't panic. Listen to your doctor. Adding to what Aishwarya said, don't uh, follow the uh, routines, follow the discipline. Then you will deliver a healthy baby and you'll be a healthy mother. Thank Thanks, Madhumita. So what she's saying is she's a working mother. So what she's saying is, see, I feel all mothers work. And uh, But, uh, you know, some of them work at home and some of them work at home as well as in the office. So it's a full-time job. So all mothers are working moms. So, but, you know, uh, the best part is you don't really have to compromise on anything. You don't have to give up your profession. You don't have to give up yourself because you're pregnant. You have to take it along. And I think Madhubita is a good example for that. And what she's saying is don't get panicked, you know, just because somebody, the doctor has told you that you're diabetic, your stress levels can go up. So be brave. There are lots of women like you who have gone through this and come out successfully. Thank you so much, Madhubita. Next, uh, Prabhakar or Idira. Prabhakar? Prabhakar, Idira. Okay. Now we have uh, uh, Bhageshri. Pra oh, Prabhakar or Idira? ಜಸ್ಟೇಷನಲ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಡಯಗ್ನೋಸ್ ಮಾಡದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಡೀಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಜರ್ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಇಬ್ರು ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ Working people are there, wife and husband are there. Okay. How do I advise you, madam? I have time and money. This is the mind in the Tegdaak Bek, madam. Time and money is the mind in the Tegdaak Bek. Doctor advise you not to follow up. And I have time and money. ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಯಾಬಿಟಿಕ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಟೈಮ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವ್ ಇಬ್ರು ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾವ್ ಒಬ್ಬರ್ನ ನರ್ಸ್ ನ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಗೆ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಶುಗರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟಿಕ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ನ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಒಬ್ಬರು ನರ್ಸ್ ನ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಟೈಮು ಮನಿ ಎರಡು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ನಮ್ ಗೋಲು 
ನಾವು ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಬಿಡು ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕಷ್ಟಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಡಯಾಬಿಟೀಸ್ ನ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳಕೆ ನಾವು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನ ನಾವೇ ಕಂಡಿಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಯಾರಾದ್ರೂ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ನರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಯಾರೇ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಾರ್ದು ಆ ನೈನ್ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ನೀವ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಆಗೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೇಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿನೂ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ್ ಭಾಗ್ಯಶ್ರೀ ವುಡ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಸಮಿಂಗ್ so we have to make a chart don't be panic you have to make a chart and take medicine diet these are many, very important i think everyone each and everyone should follow for the output of the best and good result so what bagishri has put out a point is see it is not that only gestational diabetes can complicate your pregnancy you know then antandre it is not a disease it's a disorder so there is some kind of an imbalance that is happening in your body so which needs to be set right so many we, we face many right. problems it is one among many That's so adanna neevu artha maadkondu ellanu sariyagi deal maduvanta ond situation bandre neevu adashtu this is what you can invest on your child so you can do your best anta helta idare thank you so much bagishri so rashmi Uh, I want to ask you this now. You have diabetes, insulin, travel, office, fridge, glucometer strips, lancet chain. Was this messy? And what is that one sentence message that you want to give to you know, diabetic mothers or mothers who are planning pregnancy who are likely to get diabetic because they, they have PCOS? Right. Uh, whatever it could be, if at all you want to have a baby, okay whatever the problems it would be you just take it you know in a positive manner and then uh, try to attack the problem uh, uh, treat it that it, yeah it is one of the disorders right now only for a short period of time so with that positive thought you you embrace the problem and then try to follow whatever the protocol that mom says yeah that is what sure. i would say thank you so and much so one line and one line of mom yeah sugar 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 you appear <laughs> sweet but you're scary so blindly follow what ma'am says your life will be sweet you will have a sweet baby oh wonderful that's very creative so she said Thank something uh, that's a beautiful uh, small line that you actually told and may, you know brought the uh, you know monotony of the whole situation down because we were all talking about surveillance and monitoring and everything else so yes i mean we can smile we can laugh we can enjoy we can even imagine that our babies are going to be safe and beyond pregnancy we are also going to be strong to educate many other people in the society that yes we will contribute to a healthy country we want to make all our uh, next generation of indians not diabetic not metabolically abnormal but we want that you know the healthy set of youths to come out uh, safe from our wombs and thank you so much mothers and this is a very uh, important and a historical event because this is a zoom meeting that we would remember and associate with the 8th foundation day celebrations of mirror health and there's a lot of editing that's going to be done because we need to add on certain snippets which have been contributed by some other experts which we will do and we will share it across so that you can uh, see it yourself and what you can do in return is share this meeting across to as many women as possible let them all realize that yes there is a lot of sense in accepting the fact that sugars can get abnormal during pregnancy be pre pre pregnancy post pregnancy but we as women are going to get stronger believe in the scientific evidence not really get scared to prick uh, to monitor our sugars to take our insulin because we are going to contribute to healthy babies and make our country proud so thank you so much for this and motherhood is a very very special experience that we all will cherish and i really congratulate each and every of these moms because their children are champions and these are champion moms and continue to do this great work uh, you know towards patient education so until we meet next with another educational series uh, you know bye from here and you will soon be intimated about mirror vismaya our annual newsletter which will carry some very important uh, articles or very interesting articles both contributed by uh, the doctors the patients the administrative staff our associates there's going to be everything from medicine to music and yoga so please watch for it and contribute more
thank you so much thank you doctor thank for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. creating thank such you. a huge awareness